It's being seen as a major medical advancement. Elon Musk's startup Neuralink implanted its device in a human for the very first time. This inhuman clinical trial marks just one step in the company's path toward commercialization. Medical device companies must still go through several rounds of intense data safety collection and testing before securing final approval from the FDA. But tonight we're looking at the latest developments to help patients with severe paralysis as Musk already looks to the future, giving some hints about the next human trial phase. According to Elon Musk, the first human received an implant from his computer brain interface company Neuralink over the weekend. In a Monday post on X, Musk said that the patient received the implant the day prior and was recovering well. He said initial results show promising neuron spike detection. But the billionaire who founded the company in 2016 did not provide additional details about the patient. He has, however, talked about the process in past interviews. Any device that you implant in a human is you have to go through a million, so many tests. Um, it, it moves very slowly. You just do a few people at a time. Neuralink's device is about the size of a large coin and is designed to be implanted in the skull with ultra thin wires called electrodes going directly into the brain. These wires relay electrical signals from neurons from the brain's region that controls the intention to move. The initial goal of the so-called brain computer interface is to give people the ability to control a computer cursor or keyboard using their thoughts alone. The first implementations will be to enable people who are, have lost the brain-body connection uh, to be able to operate a computer or a phone faster than someone who has hands that, are, that work. Um, so you can imagine if Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than someone um, who had full, full body functionality. How incredible that would be. Well, that's what this device will do. Neuralink earned approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for human study in May last year and then began recruiting patients in September. By participating in the PRIME study, you'd be helping to redefine the boundaries of human capability. For years, the company has tested on animals, but since Neuralink's inception, it has faced accusations of violating animal laws. Musk has denied those claims. The Agriculture Department did not find any violations aside from a self-reported 2019 incident which involved a Neuralink surgeon who used an unapproved sealant to close holes drilled into a monkey's skull. The USDA inspector who, who came by the Neuralink facilities literally said in her entire career she has never seen a better animal care facility. And Musk has detailed some of the astonishing Neuralink results that have been recorded within the animal testing phase. It already works in, in, in monkeys and works quite well. Um, with, with monkeys that can play video games just using, just by thinking. While Musk is focused now on telepathy amongst those with motor conditions from ALS patients to quadriplegics, he has already detailed the next phase within their human trials, eyesight. Vision is the, the next thing. So it's like if somebody is like, has um, lost both eyes or the optic nerve has failed, basically where there's they have no possibility of having sort of some ocular correction. Neuralink did not disclose how many human patients will participate in this initial trial, but Musk has confirmed that he will receive his own implant at some point in the future.